Good morning everyone. It's Friday morning, 31st of July, the last day of July, and we're going to come together and read this morning Psalm 35. Let's hear God's word. O Lord, oppose those who oppose me, fight those who fight against me. Put on your armour and take up your shield, prepare for battle and come to my aid. Lift your spear and javelin against those who pursue me. Let me hear you say, I will give you victory. Bring shame and disgrace on those trying to kill me. Turn them back and humiliate them, those who want to harm me. Blow them away like chaff in the wind, a wind sent by the angel of the Lord. Make their path dark and slippery with the angel of the Lord pursuing them. I did them no wrong, but they led a trap for me. I did them no wrong, but they dug a pit to catch me. So let sudden ruin come upon them. Let them be caught in the trap they set for me. Let them be destroyed in the pit they dug for me. Then I will rejoice in the Lord. I will be glad because he rescues me. With every bone in my body, I will praise him. Lord, who can compare with you? Who else rescues the helpless from the strong? Who else protects the helpless and the poor from those who rob them? Malicious witnesses testify against me. They accuse me of crimes I know nothing about. They repay me evil for good. I am sick with despair. Yet when they were ill, I grieved for them. I denied myself by fasting for them, but my prayers returned unanswered. I was sad, as though they were my friends or family, as if I were grieving for my own mother. But they are glad now that I am in trouble. They gleefully join against me. I am attacked by people I don't even know. They slander me constantly. They mock me and call me names. They snarl at me. O long, how, o, how long, O Lord, will you look on and do nothing? Rescue me from the fierce attacks. Protect my life from these lions. Then I will thank you in front of the great assembly. I will praise you before all the people. Don't let my treacherous enemies rejoice over my defeat. Don't let those who hate me without cause gloat over my sorrow. They don't talk of peace. They plot against innocent people who mind their own business. They share aha with their own eyes. They saw him do it. O oh Lord, you know all about this. Do not stay silent. Do not abandon me now, O oh Lord. Wake up, rise to my defence. Take up my cause, my God and my Lord. Declare me not guilty, O Lord, my God, for you give justice. Don't let my enemies laugh about me in my troubles. Don't let them say, look, we've got what we wanted. Now we will eat, them, eat him alive. May those who rejoice in my troubles be humiliated and disgraced. May those who triumph over me be covered and with shame and dishonour. But give me great joy to those who came to my defence. Let them constantly say, Great is the Lord, who delights in blessing his servant with peace. Then I will proclaim your justice. I will praise you all day long. Amen. Again, another psalm which talks about conflict, talks about war, um, talks about battle. Uh, very much the setting of the time. Uh, and the setting of what's going on. Uh, so it's not surprising when if you read the Psalms, when if you sort of know the history of those days. But it also highlights another thing, to bring it up to date to yourselves. Um, if, you, if you look at the Psalms in context to our daily lives and what's going on with us, and for those enemies, if you read evil and forces of evil, um, then you start to realise that we are in a spiritual battle each and every day. That's something which Paul talks about. And at the very start of that psalm, the, the psalm is calls upon God to put on his armour. Paul, as we, as we read in the New Testament, talks about the armour which God provides for us for a spiritual battle. So that uh, whole idea of fighting against the forces of evil flows right the way through the Bible, right through the way from, from Genesis to Revelation. And in that, there is the recognition that we don't fight this battle alone, but rather that God fights on our behalf. Yes, he equips us for it. Yes, he wants us to stand up in this fight. But God is actually fighting for us. 
That's a wonderful thought because we can't do it. And, and as we do try to fight, we get tired and we get weary. We give up, we lose hope. Whereas God never does that. God always keeps going. And the spoiler alert is when you read the end of Revelation, God defeats evil completely. Jesus had already done that by dying on the cross for our sins and rising again. But Revelation shows it all coming to a head, coming to an end, where, where the forces of evil are finally vanquished, destroyed, and then there is peace forever. That's the peace that God wants to give us. In the midst of turmoil, in the midst of life, God wants us to have his peace. Again, that's something that Jesus talked about in John 14. And he says, my peace I give you, my peace I leave with you. The peace of knowing that God is with us in every circumstance, that he helps us and carries us. It's a wonderful thought. So as you come to the end of another week, as you come to Friday, as the weekend lies in front of you, and I don't know what you're going to do for the weekend, who knows what this day will hold, who knows what the weekend will hold. For some, this will be a difficult day as they say goodbye to loved ones. For others, loved ones are, are near the ends. For others, there's illness, so it'll be hard. For others, it's a time maybe of rejoicing. Maybe um, you're reunited with loved ones um, and, and you're giving thanks for that. Uh, maybe you're, 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 you know, you're just loving what's going on uh, and life is really good and, and you can give thanks for that. Whatever our circumstances are this day, Remember God in the midst of all of it. Remember that he is with us, that he fights for us, that he walks with us. And may his peace just surround you today and always. Thanks folks again for listening this morning. We're going to pray in a moment. Um, just like we said before we pray, this is the last stream for this week. Um, there's no stream tomorrow morning. And then on Sunday morning uh, it is 11 o'clock. Um, where we're streaming from church. After that, for the next four weeks, I'm actually going to be off. Uh, but what I've done is I've recorded daily readings, Monday to Friday again through the Psalms, so you'll still have those readings. And each Sunday at 11 o'clock, we will still have a service streamed from Strain. One of our elders is going to introduce the service, and then the service will be our moderator service. Um, so we'll all be set up for you. But please keep on sending in your birthday blessings, if there are any. Send them into Fiona. You'll have her contact details in the letter that went out. Um, and, and, and let her know so that that can be done still on a Sunday morning. And, and during that time, if anything crops up, again, for Strain, you can contact Fiona. Um, for Bally Black, contact Alec. And for Carrie or Bally Freenis, contact Herbie um, if there's any pastoral issues that arise. But look, I really do pray that we all um, continue to walk with God and that we all... Just know his peace and his presence over these incoming days and as we start to work towards getting back to church. So let's pause and let's pray together. Father, thank you again for your word. Thank you again for the promises from your psalm. Lord, the fact that we don't face this spiritual battle on our own, but that you fight not only with us, but for us, leading us and protecting us. Lord, we thank you for that. We need you, Father. We cannot do this by ourselves. Uh, we will only fail, but with you, we have victory. So Lord, for, for this day, for this weekend, for the incoming weeks, we just pray that you would help us, that you would be with us, that you would guide us and direct us, that we would very much know your presence and your peace with us. Father, we thank you. And just help us this day, continue with us, we pray. In Christ's name, amen. Thanks, folks, for joining us this morning. I, I really do care. I really do pray that um, you take care of the weekend, that you know God's peace and blessing. Um, so stay safe and God bless, and I'll see you soon. Bye.